Hey, I'm Jiso, and today we're going to see how to beat the Dragi, which isn't a hard opponent, but because you're going to fight multiple variations of that one opponent, and sometimes you have, even have to go against two of them at the same time, it's very important to have your bases, you know, to be able to confidently go against them, no matter how many they are. Three attacks you should be concerned about. He's going to try to hit you with his tail, and you can tell because he will kind of grunt without opening his mouth. When, when he does open his mouth, he's going to try to hit you with his head. So again, whenever he's trying to hit you with his tail, he's going to row, but not open his mouth. But when he does row while opening his mouth, he's going to hit you with his head. Easy, easy way to tell which attack is coming for you. When you deal enough damage, he's going to electrify himself, and his moveset don't change much. He's just the same, except this time he can perform those attacks which are unblockables and you need to get as far away as possible. Before, if you remember, he was spitting, but it was easily dodgeable or parryable. But because he's electrified, you necessarily have to dodge and get out of the way, and those linger, they will stay for a while on the floor. So you don't want to accidentally run into them, so keep in mind on the battlefield to avoid taking damage and accidentally stepping back into it. But as long as you have the basis um, in mind that, okay, he's rolling, I need to be prepared for a two hit combo. First, a hit I can I just block and then a hit I need to parry or just avoid entirely by dodging. Sometimes when you are away from him, he's going to try to close the gap by jumping into the air and attacking you. That attack is, you have to avoid it by burying or just dodging or getting out of the way. But you can tell it's coming because he's going to try to leap into the air and well, you just pay attention to what he's about to do. That's why I said that he's, it's not a hard fight unless you have to deal with two of them. And two of them at the same time can be quite problematic if you don't know what they are doing. But now you should know what they are doing and they can easily be staggered if you have runic attacks you can spam to make them chill. Like they, you really need to make them chill. By the time you start fighting two dragons at the same time, you will be further in the story and you will have a lot of tools, like a lot of link attacks and it's a great way to keep them staggered because they can easily, easily be staggered. But because they are two, you always have to be on the lookout and hit them both at the same time because if you forget about one of them, he's going to hit you. That's why I'm switching targets left and right because I know that the moment, especially because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, the moment you forget about an opponent, he's going to try to hit you from behind <laughs> so yeah you always want to go from one opponent to the next and never focus on one of them at, at just exclusively at some point during the fight whenever you deal enough damage they're going to retreat back and start spitting at you there is no need to panic you just need to keep running and just wait for them to come out they will eventually come out and then you can finish them just, f just remember that they still have the same moveset as any other Drakey. The concern now is to confidently handle them while they are numerous. But hopefully there won't be three Drakeys at the same time because that will be toxic. Kinda. So that's it for the video. Hopefully that was um, helpful. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. And don't be afraid of no Drakey anymore. You get this.